Today's experiment is the rising water. We are going to do an experiment called the rising water or why does the water rise experiment. What do you need? One glass and one plastic plate. And a bowl? A bowl plastic plate. Um, and we're going to need colored water. We're going to need a candle. A candle. What else? Uh, that's it. No. I mean, we also need this. Magic. The match it. All right. So Probably we... Probably it, it will smoke in here. It will form a smoke inside the glass? I think that's so. That's a good prediction. What else? Do you have another one? The, the water will go from here into the glass. Can I plus the, the smoke? Okay. Plus the smoke will go out. The fire will go out because the... Cause, Cause fire needs air to stay on, and so it will go out. Okay. And the water will rise. The water level inside this glass will rise, and the water level out here will lower. We shall see. Are you ready to start? Woo! Let's start. We light up your candle. The air molecules above the candle are hotter than right here around it. Yeah. Did the water go inside the jar? Yes. Yes. All right. Can you lift it up? Oh, I know. All of it like went inside. Oh, look. What happened is the water is going inside because it's cooling the off. The pressure on the outside is still a little greater than the inside and pushes the water to go inside of the jar rising inside so let's to make see. sure it's not even so the there you see the water and this plastic bowl is clinging onto the jar do you want mommy to make the bigger version of it all right let's do the bigger version one two three go, go. I want to see that bubbles. It's rising inside. Water is rising. The two candles are starting to extinguish. Well, extinguish. Bubbles forming. That means the air molecules that's hotter inside is trying to escape. So that's why there's still some bubbles. And while it's taking oh. a little bit of time, you see. That noise actually is um, a lot of bubbles. And as you can see, there's a little bit of water on the outside of the tray, and most of it went inside. Now the candle seems to be out. There's fog, a little bit of fog there because of the air molecules are starting to cool off. Air pressure of the air molecules inside is smaller than the air pressure on the outside of the jar. And that caused the water from the outside to be pushed inside of the jar, making it rise in the jar. That's our experiment for today. Thanks for watching.